Hello Curious and welcome back. One movie has been dominating the Netflix charts since it was released and that has been Don't Look Up. With such a stellar cast and themes that reflect today's society, it is no surprise that it has climbed up to the top. And it is about one of the movie's top build stars that we are going to talk about in today's video. Namely, Jennifer Lawrence. The 31 year old actress has had her name catapulted to international fame in 2012 with the release of the first Hunger Games movie. But just how did the actress get there? When did her career in show business begin? What do we know about the actress's personal life? Did everyone hate her at one point? And what exactly happened that caused the actress to stop acting for a while? Stay with us until the very end to find out all about this Hollywood star. But before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you are always up to date with the hottest celebrity news. Don't Look Up dropped on Netflix on December 24th and soon enough it became the number one movie in 94 countries. Brand new Hollywood productions on Netflix often tend to do well, but with casts consisting of Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett, Mark Rylance, Timothy Chalamet, Ron Perlman, Ariana Grande, Tyler Perry and Jonah Hill, it is no surprise. Even Chris Evans had managed to snag an uncredited cameo. The film was written and directed by Adam McKay, who is behind such movies as the comedy Step Brothers and the Academy Award winning movie The Big Short. A fun fact for you curious, the cast of this movie, plus the director, have a total of 9 Academy Awards wins between them all. So with such a cast, the interest in the movie was quite big. And speaking of Timothy Chalamet, if you want to find out more about the actor and which one of his co-stars he could turn to romantically, you can do so by checking out our previous video by clicking on the link above. Though for now, stay with us to find out the latest news about Lawrence. Without giving too much away about the plot of the movie for those of you who might not have had the chance to see it yet, the film focuses on two low-level astronomers who had discovered a brand new comet headed for the Earth and whose impact would be worse than that of which wiped out the dinosaurs. Then they must go on a media tour to try and inform the people about what is going on and to try and get the US government, as well as the leaders of other nations, to try and act and do something to knock the comet off its collision course. The movie is very much a political satire, which in a way reflects society today with regards to media manipulation, the reporting around COVID-19, as well as it being a wake-up call with regard to the climate crisis. It is also a dig at corrupt politicians, with Streep playing the president, and the relationship they have with tech billionaires. Overall, given the cast of the movie, it was highly anticipated, and according to Forbes, between December 24th and December 26th alone, the movie has logged 111.03 million watch hours. Of course, all cast members had stood out in one way or another, but given that the movie marked her return to Hollywood, many were quick to talk about Jennifer Lawrence. And as it turns out, there was a scene in the movie that was so terrible for the 31 year old actress that she said filming it was the worst day of her life. The scene in question was actually the opening of the movie, where Jennifer's character was rapping a few lines of Wu-Tang Clan's song Ain't Nothing to Foot With, as the actress revealed because of scheduling issues due to COVID that ended up being the very first scene they shot. Speaking in a press junket promoting the movie, she went on to say it was horrifying because I'm in this huge hangar and it's so quiet and I don't know anybody and I had to rap Wu-Tang Clan. It was just horrendous. But just how did Jennifer Lawrence come to be where she is in her career and become an Academy Award winning actress? Let's start at the beginning. The actress was born on August 15, 1990 in Indiana Hills, Kentucky. Her father Gary was a construction company owner and her mother Karen a summer camp manager. The actress also has two older brothers, Ben and Blaine. Growing up, her mother had raised her to be as tough as her brothers, which later had caused some minor problems for her, and in preschool, she was not allowed to play with other girls because she was too rough. As her mother revealed in an interview, while the other girls were making cookies, she just wanted to play ball. As Jen confessed in later interviews, she didn't enjoy her childhood due to her social anxiety, which caused her to feel like a misfit among her peers. While at school, she took part in many sports such as cheerleading, softball, field hockey and basketball and in the latter, she played in a boys team that her father had coached. Already as a kid, Lawrence was a performer. When her father had worked from home, she would dress up as a clown or a ballerina and perform for him. It was at the age of 9 that Jennifer had her acting debut, but it was not in a movie or a TV show, but in a church play based on the book of Jonah, where the future star took on the role of an escort. From then on, for the next few years, she would appear in more church plays and school musicals, which helped her deal with anxiety. 
though it wasn't until she was 14 and on a family vacation in NYC that she was spotted on the street by a talent scout who had helped her audition for agents. In the beginning, the actress's mother wasn't all that keen on allowing Jen to pursue acting, but later moved her family to the city so that her daughter could attend auditions. There she began acting in commercials for MTV and filming the 2007 thriller Devil You Know, though the movie was shelved until 2013. The actress then moved to LA and ended up dropping out of school, aged 14, without receiving a GED or a diploma, later commenting that she was self-educated and that above all, her career was the priority. The actress's first acting role in her career was a minor role in a TV pilot for Company Town. However, the show was never aired or sold. As per IMDb, Lawrence's first acting role came in 2006 in an episode of Monk and Cold Case. Her first movie roles had come in 2008 with three films, Garden Party, The Poker House and The Burning Plane. After appearing in several more productions, in 2011, Jennifer landed her role in the first major franchise, The X-Men, when she took on the role of Mystique in X-Men First Class. However, her biggest career boom came the following year, when she starred in The Hunger Games as the main protagonist, Katniss Everdeen, and where she starred alongside Josh Hutcherson and Woody Harrelson. And if you want to know more about the Zombieland actor, you can check out our previous video about him by clicking on the link above. Thanks to her role in the movies, which were based on the novels by Suzanne Collins, Lawrence was catapulted to international stardom, and she was seen as a teen idol. She would later reprise her role in three more films in the story, which in total had earned $2.09 billion worldwide. Jennifer also went on to reprise her role in X-Men movies in three more films, thanks to all her success and more roles soon started pouring in, which included Silver Linings Playbook, for which the actress was nominated for and won an Academy Award, American Hustle, Mother and Red Sparrow. Overall, the actress has 33 acting credits to her name. Currently, there are still two movies with her participation to be released. Red, White and Water, which is set to be released in 2022, as well as Bad Blood, which had recently been announced. During her career, the actress had established a quirky girl persona, which people had gotten tired of after a while. Her regular late-night show recollections about intoxicated celebrity interactions, showing people celebrities are just like us when she tripped up the stairs at the Oscars, and repeated professions of her love for pizza, eventually grew tired for people, and to some, they even seemed forced and many soon got tired of the actress, which was further proven, with several of her films turning out to be flops. This was something that Lawrence herself acknowledged in a most recent Vanity Fair interview, where she said, I just think everybody had gotten sick of me. I'd gotten sick of me. I felt like I reached a point where people were not pleased just by my existence. Because of this, the actress took a break from acting for a while, making a comeback with the most recent movie, Don't Look Up. During its red carpet premiere, when speaking to E! News, she described her return and being on the red carpet like an out-of-body experience. However, when she appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, she added that it was nice for her to take a break from the spotlight and feeling like she could become part of the world again without the fanfare. Of course, with so much success in her career, with 185 award nominations and winning 119 of them, also came many titles and high rankings. Back in 2013, Time magazine had named Jen one of the 100 most influential people in the world, and Forbes had ranked her as the second most powerful actress, behind only Angelina Jolie. For her role in The Hunger Games, in 2015, she was recognised as the highest grossing heroine in Guinness World Book Records. But it wasn't just the film world that saw the star's potential, as during her career she had also become an ambassador for Dior, appearing in advertisement campaigns and frequently wearing their clothes to a red carpet events, even wearing a custom bridal gown on her wedding day. All in all, it is estimated that the star's net worth is around $160 million. Though it has not been all sunshine and daisies in her career, as in 2014, Lawrence was one of the victims of the celebrity nude photo leak when several of her self-photographed pictures were leaked. At the time, she had emphasised that these images had never meant to go public, and they were intended for her then-boyfriend Nicholas Holt, whom she dated between 2010 and 2014. The actress added that viewers of the images should be ashamed of themselves for perpetuating a sexual offence. However, unlike other victims, she did not plan on suing Apple. Where her love life is concerned, it was not as scandalous as some of her Hollywood colleagues. For four years, she was in a relationship with her X-Men co-star, the aforementioned Nicholas Holt. 
Between September 2016 until November 2017, she dated filmmaker Darren Aronofsky, who was the director of Mother, and their relationship had caused quite a backlash due to the 21 age gap between them. In 2018, Jennifer began dating Cook Maroney, an art gallery director. The two got engaged in February 2019 and later tied the knot in October that year in a ceremony that took place in Rhode Island. In September 2021, the actress had announced that she and her husband were expecting the first child. Since then, she was photographed of her baby bump, which she also displayed during the Don't Look Up premiere. If you want to know about other celebrities that are expecting or who have already be welcomed babies in 2021, you can check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. So curious, what are your thoughts and don't look up? Have you seen the movie yet? Are you a fan of Jennifer Lawrence? Have you seen her in any past productions? What was your favourite? And did you too get tired of the actress? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.